No reason, it's still here. Oh, what do we got going on? Come on, 64 degrees. April 2nd, 49 outside. Come on now, what's the low? They say the low is gonna be 48. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna work on this today. Um, I see I have some pieces missing from this um, damaged dozer, which I'm still fine. I'm still very happy with this. Um, what I understand is, what I've read is that you don't really, you don't have to have pods. You've seen in the clips that I need to make a bracket right here and then pinch weld clamps to clamp it to the pinch welds and then um, it pulls against itself, which is nice. Probably going to rig up something on this lift to make it work, but I can't really do a lot of fabrication right now. Um, I still don't understand what this is. I can't find this in any damaged dozer, Blackhawk. Um, these are considered frame straightener body panel straightener. Uh, I see somebody did some cutting up in here, which I'm still fine. The thing stands out 15 foot. What I don't understand is, okay, this hook's there, chain wraps around there, that, that's fabulous. And I understand this is damaged, I understand this. Okay, this looks like it was welded on, I understand that. All the cylinders I look at don't have this piece. How do you attach it to this? Maybe you just weld it. I'm not sure. Because there's different um, strokes. This will handle a 12 inch stroke. It'll pull 12 inches. J majority of them are 5 and 5 eighths stroke. They're cheaper, but I pretty much want at least a 10 inch stroke. So you take that right there and you hook it here. Now I guess I have to make a bracket to hook it here. Um, America made hydraulic unit they can go from two to six hundred dollars depends what you want to pay um, Harbor Freight doesn't have anything that I can see up so um, like I'm gonna paint this again one more coat and later on down the line I'm gonna do a little little Tommy shoe something uh, I'll probably get the booth car in the booth maybe Friday yeah okay whatever you guys missed it in my last video. You guys don't remember me saying, remember the daylight, the sunlight? I don't get it in there. Well, this is a project in the summertime too. Humane for habitat. They're 22 wide by 47 long. They got all the flashing. I'll hammer the flashing out, cut holes. I got two of them. I really like to put those in, but you know, some things you gotta do first. Like Pac Man's car. Today's Thursday, all day even if it rains, and that's just what it's doing, it's raining. Um, so work on Batman's car today and tomorrow, and um, shoving it in the booth. I'm not working on it this weekend, I don't work on other people's stuff. And then, um, if the weather breaks, probably start cutting holes in the skylight because I really want that natural light in here. And what I'll do is when I put the skylights here where the garage door opens and the peak is up there, I'll put it on this side of the roof, probably there and there. And when the sun hits in, I'll put mirrors up there so it reflects and comes down here. It just, I like direct sunlight. It's just a lot nicer light. Anyway, winter wonderland. It's kind of, we don't get much sunlight out here. But, it's the cards that I was dealt, and I'm playing them out. Can anybody tell me any information? Um, 
on this. This is, well, like you seen in the video, it's a Blackhawk Euro Dozer. I see somebody welded a eye hook here. I guess I found a use for that um, eight gauge sheet of metal I was going to use on the old wood burner. It's four foot by eight foot. I'm sure I'll be able to make uh, something that slides here with an eye hook on it so I can clamp her down a little something, but that's in the future. Yeah. Today is. See that smoke? Tell you what, you know what the smoke is from? Shoe took care of his business yesterday with that big ass skid. Shoe cut that shit down. He ain't trying to leave it laying around in the yard. Uh uh. Burn it. One and done. In and out. First in, first out. Well, some things are first in, first out, but hey, you know, you gotta, uh, for me, sometimes when shit just, ah, you just gotta take a little break. Otherwise, it just irritates you. Am I more into it than I was Tuesday? Yeah, because I let the frustration ride off and realized Batman paid for this stuff. And yeah. Mm-hmm. Put another coat of paint on. She's almost dry, really. It takes 24 hours to dry, but you know the shoe, he just, he gonna go on, mm-hmm, lickety split. Yeah, it's that time. Get right, Pops. It's a little tight fit. This height of bed that I made, a little 110 welder doesn't do too bad. Welding those hooks and welding this together because this is 560 pounds that I finagled slash slid over. Yeah. Anyway, I was, I was actually impressed myself. That was surprisingly. Got a new home for all the mold clamps. Make a little tray under that uh, uh, dozer, whatever you call it, this weekend. But right now, going to do a little airboarding. It is that time Thursday. Man, I wish I knew somebody in town that rebuilt that, but. What are you going to do? It'll all work out some way, somehow. You just push the fuck through. Yep, dumpster diving. This is what I consider... Oh, let me get my glasses so I can see what I'm talking about. Maybe you guys can educate me. Maybe not. See, do I consider that breakthrough? No. Maybe I'm wrong. As long as there's paint there and primer, that's all sandable stuff. If I wanted to keep going, which I'm done, because all the black is gone. Once you hit metal, that's a breakthrough to me. And you're going to get it. Okay? You're going to get it. Unless you guys are just the kick-ass body men of the world. This part, I could keep sanding. I know that's low and you could sand it all out and you could ripple the whole fucking quarter panel. There's no sense sanding the whole thing out because there's no guarantee that's coming out. No guarantee. It could, but I'm not trying to break into the seven deadly sins here. Because once I hit the red on this car, that tells me that's metal to me. I make that up. Because I don't want to be go below that red because um, I don't don't want to go below there. Nope, I'd rather just keep filling. And normally, I don't want to fill. I keep filling, but I do not want to break into that red in those quarters. See where I broke into Bondo? Bondo patches? There's no metal. So I don't call that breakthrough. That's just me. Now some spots on the door below that red is the white. Apparently this car was white. It was uh oh that 
Miss Green back in the day. But like I said, not not there. Whoa, stay away from that. Um, am I gonna prime it again? Yeah. Only because of the quarters. The quarters you got two bad spots on the on each quarter. And then on the roof, I got a dent. I thought I filled with slick sand, but I missed it. I sprayed up to it, but not, I didn't enclose or capsulate the whole dent. Um, maybe I don't use the professional technology of body work men. Um, you know? Yeah, it's probably true. Um, that, I could keep sanding down. But that right there tells me it's etch. In my opinion, could be wrong. And I ain't trying to go any lower because I know this door kind of goes, does a little And that tells me it's mud. And it's like, you know what? We'll just fill this. There's no sense sanding all this down to make, no. And not saying you couldn't. Not saying you couldn't. Let me see if I can get a bird's eye view of the no, I can't, but there's there's a den up there. How to get up there? Nah, it's not neither here nor there. You know, it's just a den. And what I would consider a breakthrough here is if you broke into fiberglass, you do not want to go into the gel coat. You do not want to go past the gel coat and hit raw fiberglass. This is my experience, and I'm not a fiberglass man. You would have to confirm this because I don't own these, this information with gas as glass. But I, I, I've done a couple Corvettes. I've done quite a few fiberglass hoods, things like that. I broke through a, a Corvette. No, I'm sorry. I didn't do it. My brother had a Corvette that was painted black. He went to well, New Jersey to get it. Anyway, it looked fine. It had just got painted. He had bought it off eBay. And after about a year or two, you, it looked like worm on the whole door. It looked like worm underneath it. Like it was, I don't know how to explain it. And when I started, we started trying to work on that door before we placed the door with all the Corvette parts car I had. I started sanding and the gel coat was gone in those exact spots. So what I'm assuming is that fiberglass wicks water expands and that's what the worming effect was. I could be totally wrong. I really could. That's just my experience. Now when I'm in my own garage doing my own thing talking to myself, I usually come up with the same conclusion because I had nobody to bounce my ideas off of. Should I slick sand this whole car? Not in my opinion, no. Because you're gonna slick sand or high build a whole car, you are going to have to finger fuck those edges to death. And at that moment, because I've done it, and you're going to think, damn, I wish I want a high build primer, everything, man. Not in the nooks and crannies. Been there, done that, didn't like it. There's a time and place for everything. Now, yesterday's video is just a few people. It's kind of like this. I'm sorry for you good people that have to listen to that bullshit. And I understand when you make reference to these people that they get a jolly out of it. That's fine. But it gets to the point where you start swallowing so much bullshit. I need to get a new little miniature tripod. There you go. And no, I don't want nobody to buy me one. You know what? We're just... <laughs> I hold on to it for a minute, I guess. Um... Oh, the wing nuts out there. I'm still trying to screw the tripod in because I'll never stop it till it's fixed, but um, maybe duct tape will work. Um, met a lot of good people out there. Oh, you know, when you start swallowing so much shit in life, it makes a lump in your throat, and either you can swallow it and be part of the shit, or you got to spit the shit out and regurgitate it. And the way I am, is once I spit out and say what I got to say, I don't think about it no more. I just thought I'd just give everybody a fair warning, you know. Like I said yesterday, I have misread a few comments. I've made my mistakes early in YouTube. 
you know, like three years ago. Now I learned to try to watch what I say and what I post. And I do want to apologize. Sometimes I leave my letters in capital. And that means you're screaming. I, I, I don't mean to do that. I ain't screaming. Well, I might be. Fuck it. You know, you never know. I don't even know where this fucking beat is going. You know, now I was 13 years old, painting bicycles from a fucking apple tree. Got runs, still get runs to this day. Oh, yeah. She will do a run. He ain't doing orange peel. To think that... That I'd be fortunate enough to live what I consider comfortable. Most people would say way below the poverty line. That's okay. I don't want a lot of things. I want, I wanted my life back. So I wanted my life back to do what I feel like I want to do. Because you don't get much time here, you know. You're going to die with all your toys just hanging here. You get a wads of money. If you didn't enjoy it, when you're gone, you'd be surprised where the money goes and what it's spent on. I've seen it happen a few times recently in the last couple of years. Oh, the mothership is uh, just flew by. I got to go.